Today I bring an ingenious um, switch, and this is not just any ordinary switch. It's about it's a PoE switch. It's you can manage this switch also too. There's eight ports to it, and we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna replace our existing one that we have. It's a it's you know this is a gigabyte. It's compatible 10, 100, and 1000. So very simple to set up. You could just plug and play and ready to go. But you can actually manage this from anywhere, not just from your actual home network, but if you set it up, you could actually do it through a cloud network too. And you could have it on either on your iPhone or on your Android. And we're gonna take a look at that part too. So one of the best things I like about these things is like a lot of these companies are buying um, PoE phones. They're buying the remote control cameras that require PoE and this is a perfect thing. So if you're in the market looking for something very inexpensive and simple to set up, this would probably might be it for you. Now, if you want to be able to manage the stuff and name it how you want, your either your network, your your actual items that connect into this, you can do that. You can manage this, like I said. So anybody that connects within your network, you can see what's going on or how much traffic is going through that system. On top of that, how much power is uh, transferring to if it's a PoE application or hardware. So we're going to take a look at it and we're going to set it up and we're going to do a little test too. How much power do you get out of these PoE? Now, you can manage the voltage through the actual system. So that's another thing that you have to do too. Right? Right now, out of the box, you can plug and play. You don't need to do any other stuff I just talked about and very simple to set up. So if you have a PlayStation, uh, a computer, a three, four computer setup, you can just out of the box, set it up. You don't have to worry about the management system. You can just bypass that and set this up. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, one of the things that you got to know that if you're going to require this to manage on uh, on your phone through your phone, you're going to need some of the information in the back. And we're going to go ahead and, and show you. There is a sticker where all the information, the serial number, the code, and all that stuff that you require in order to set up on your phone. This will be pretty much sending a signal out to the cloud, and the cloud's going to be bouncing back to your phone, and you can manage it remotely. Remotely. LED mode or a reset. That's all you got. There's no other buttons other than the power button in the back and these in this button, these two buttons in the front. Now let's go ahead. If you do a reset, this is going to reset even the settings that you have on the cloud system, even the ones that you set that you were going to manage, even the ones that you manage. So if you set up a P IP on this on this switch, it's going to reset that to the default. All right. So let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, start with the power up. We're going to do a little indication. We're going to do a little test. And then we'll plug it in here. We just plugged it into the power. We're going to do a test right now. And say, OK, test, PoE. Do a test on it. We're getting um, around 55 volts. That's the max we can get on this. 54, 55. So if you guys can see how much voltage we're getting. And um, it, it works very well. All right, guys, first of all, we're going to do this right now. So we're going to set up an IP address so we could set up the actual system manageable. And right now we got to make sure that we set up a static IP to match the actual system. So the management. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go and change it. So we got to go properties in here. And then we're going to go down to TCP IP port. All right, we're going to do a setup uh, TCP port number four, version four. That's what we're going to set up. We go ahead and go to properties and use one. We're going to go ahead and set up 192.168.0.20. Tap so you can go down there and we're going to leave that alone. And we don't have to fill in the rest. We just get OK. Hit close. And pretty much that's it. So to check it, you can always go to CMD. We go, I type in IP config. All right. And we got that address right here. If you can see it, 20. We're in 20. So we're in good position right now. So let's go ahead and continue on now. We can open any browser. And we don't have internet. But we put in the default IP address that the actual um, system has. So we're going to do 192.168.0. And then it's 239, right? So dot 239. And it's going to take us to a window now. And then we're going to be able to log in here. All right, here, the username is admin. The password for the first time is password. You can always change this, all right? And hit enter, and we log in. 
we are actually in the actual system itself. So if you guys can see that. All right, and this is how you manage the whole system itself. So we have the device name, of course. We have the version. If in case you have to do the upgrades, you can do that. Now on here, IP settings, you could change it to any IP settings that you want. Right now we currently have this one on. We don't have any right now, but I'm just gonna demonstrate some of the stuff. You can manage the stuff, the networks that you have. Uh, right now we are set at 39, of course, but you could change this, modify it, so you could, you could actually manage this on your network and because right now it's a default uh, gateway and default IP that we have. Now let's continue on here in the bottom. So you can see all the settings that we have. And here you can pretty much change a lot of things. What I'm looking for, uh, here's a static routers that you can set up to. You guys can see that. Neighbor table, we don't have any time. Uh, this is where you default the time to how you want to, um, your protocol to actually pick up the time uh dc speed let me see nope what i'm looking for is a poe here this is a power budget right here this is right now where we're running you could change any of the ports from 6 to 55 so if your um hardware it requires a certain amount of power this is where you have to modify it right and here's the ports let me go ahead and change that here's all the ports that we have we have one through eight you can modify each one if you want so you don't have to have 55 right now we currently are going at 55 so that's what i ran a test and that's what it shows 55 all right you could change this to 12 10 depending on your equipment and like i said it depends on if you plug in a camera that only requires 20 um you can always go and set a 20 into a certain port so you can always change all this. And right now we don't have anything plugged in to test out. If you can see it says searching, 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 low, enable. You can enable the state, disable. You can modify this from anywhere. So if you set this up on your phone, you're gonna have access through the whole system. And let's continue some more. So you can always reboot, configure the whole thing out. It's very simple to, if you're familiar with this, you ain't gonna have any problems coming in here and modifying this thing. Right now, as is out of the box, you don't have to do any of this stuff, any of the modifications or anything like that. But if you wanna secure your network, you wanna know what's on your network, this is a proper way to come in here and set up. Now, if you never mess around with any DHCP or IP addresses that you're permanently set up, you gotta make sure that you, you can always have hit that reset button. So if you mess up of anything, you can always come back to the reset button. Off the box, you don't have to do any of this, just plug and play. But you have eight ports to plug and play now, and every single one is live with 55 volts or 55. Once you set it up and you wanna change it back to normal, make sure you go back to obtain your IP automatically. Let the system automatically build it, all right? This is only to modify this system in here. If you guys can see it. Only to modify it, that's the only way you're gonna be able to modify it right now. But once you set up the IP address and everything on that system, you should be able to look at it up in your network. Just make sure that the IP you're setting up on that one is not taken by something else, all right? So let's go ahead and put it back to normal, hit OK, and we should be able to go back to our network. Currently, the one I have only has four ports. It's a PoE also too. Um, but unfortunately, this system is not as I wanted to where I wish I had more ports Let's go ahead and set up the new version of it and get it go up and running, if you can see it. I do have one dedicated one. This is our actual uh, internet coming in and then the rest of them are three to spare and then one more. But eight is perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and set it up and see how well it works. This is running my whole network in here. So we're gonna go ahead and set some more. I got a couple of two synologies, my computer. And that's pretty much it. All right, so we just plugged it in right now. We're gonna wait for it to pick up and only one's gonna turn on right now. But we're gonna go ahead and plug some more in while we're still waiting because this system is already updated so we're gonna plug it in i could do from one to eight but right now we're just gonna start from the bottom okay, so i set up four of them already we have our router coming in through here and the rest three more and we have three more four more to spare as you can see uh so far i like it the speeds i like on transferring is everything's the same normal uh i like it easy to set up eight ports even better than the four port that i had so i could add additional in fact i'm going to add four more because i'm going to put a poe cameras on here i am also going to put a poe antenna here for um to actually extend my internet so i am going to put it in this room here but uh three more additional with uh three more cameras on here or or i could connect anything else i want in here uh very simple to set up it's a plug and play like i said you don't have to do the setup i did 
you can just plug and play and it's uh it's called ingenious very simple uh it goes 10 100 and 1000 it's a gigabyte switch